In this video I'm going to finish the drag box mesh functionality. So the triggered units we collide with using the drag box will be added to the currently selected units. So really good video. So but firstly I want to focus your attention on something. When there's no units in the game and I drag the box does not update which is awesome. That's really good. It saves computer cycles and things. But when there is a unit it does update and that's good as well but the thing is when we stop dragging the box stays where it is and we don't want that to happen we want it to go away when we're not dragging and come back when we when we are dragging so really easy fix I'm gonna hop into the mouse script so if you guys remember from loads of videos ago near the beginning of the series we um, we configured our mouse events when the mouse is first clicked when it's released and when we're dragging so when we know we're actually dragging, we can say uh, if drag select mesh active is false, then we can just turn it on. So drag select mesh active equals true. Whoops, not false, true. Okay, so um, if if you're using Unity 4, you might want to use set active true or false. But uh, I think that's the case in Unity 4. I'm in Unity 3, so I'm going to use active. Okay, and when we've... Um, stopped dragging so when we release the mouse user is dragging equals false and also drag select mesh active equals false as well so just a couple of lines of code let's just test this out and see if it works before we move on okay hopping over to my solar farm dragging stop dragging the mesh disappears like we want it to so that fixes that and now it won't be it will not be intersecting other units when we don't want it to and things so anyway, I'm going to minimize our updates method and go down to the late update. And I want to focus your attention on this line of code I've added from the previous video, really important. We just need to check if the unit is not already in the dragged units. So if a unit is already in the dragged units using the 2D GUI method, and if the unit is not in the uh, triggered units in the game using our 3D drag uh, mesh trigger, then you can add the unit. So just checking if the unit is not already in there. So if you guys have been following along, add this bit of code to your script, okay? But uh, for this video, I'm going to focus on the drag, drag mesh trigger. So we're going to do two things. The first thing, um, we're going to go through the selected units array list from the previous video in our drag mesh trigger script the selected units array list and check if units are still triggered on this event or frame or the frame okay so the, this is the triggered units array list we're going to check if they're still there if they're not we need to remove them and uh, update the selected units that's all good the second thing we need to do is uh, check which new units are triggered on this event so again we're going to loop through the triggered units and add the ones that were not already in the selected units so two things we need to do and both of them involve for loops we're going to do that so firstly we can just check if the user is dragging and drag mesh trigger script if a new trigger event is taking place we can do all of the code we want to do so for i equals int i equals zero i is less than Drag mesh trigger, selected units count i plus plus, and we also need to get the unit object. So equals drag mesh trigger again, selected units at this index as a game object. We can use that quite a lot in this video. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, let's just copy and paste this comment so we know what we're doing. So now we can check, is this unit in the triggered units on this frame? If it is, then that's f that's fine, we can add it to the new selected units. If it's not, we need to remove it, or not add it. So either way, we can say, well, if the unit is not in the triggered units, we made a method for this, unit already in triggered units, unit object. If it's not in there, well, we need to remove it, because it was on, it was in the selected units on the previous frame, but on this frame it's not. So drag mesh trigger selected selected units remove at the index but this is not totally necessary 
because what we're doing we're going to construct a new array list and then overwrite to the selected units so we're going to construct this array list and then apply it to the selected unit so theoretically we don't need to remove it but if you guys are doing more optimization in the future then I recommend removing it just to keep things consistent okay and the last last thing we need to do is um, turn off the selected graphic so unit object transform find child selected game object active equals false just letting the user know that we've not we're not selecting this unit anymore but what well, if it is still in there well if it's still in the selected units we want it to stay there so we can say drag mesh trigger new selected units add units object okay guys because we're going to construct this new array list and then overwrite the selected units once we figured out which ones we need to put in here and just to be on the safe side we can uh, copy and paste this and put true again this one is not totally necessary I'm going to put that there just so you know because on the previous frame it would be turned on anyway so just again just set double checking everything's going to work okay and that's all we need to do for the first loop so that's the first one the second one let's copy and paste this one we're going to go through the triggered units on this particular frame and uh, add them if they're not already added to the new selected units so a similar thing we're going to go through another for loop so in this case it will be the triggered units triggered units okay but in this case we can just um, say well if it's not in the selected units this time drag this trigger unit we can use the other method we made in the previous video which checks if a unit is in the selected units array list unit object then we can add it to the new selected units so again getting the array list from our drag mesh trigger script it's really good to host array lists in another script if you're if you're worried about organization because you will definitely know this array list is is linked with the drag mesh trigger so just another thing to look out for new selected units add unit object and again we want to turn this to true we want to turn on the selected graphic equals true so before I continue I just want to recap what we've done we have went through the units triggered on the previous frame and checked if they're still being triggered on this frame if they're not we remove them if they are it's cool we can add them to the new selected units and then we checked the triggered units on this event and seeing if there's any new uh, objects to be added if there is we add them to the new selected units so before I continue it would make sense to reset reset new selected units so we can just say drag mesh trigger new selected units clear so removing everything from the previous event then we can repopulate it and then apply it and we can do that right at the bottom so the first thing we need to do drag mesh trigger selected units equals drag mesh trigger new selected units overwriting it second thing let's clear the triggered units ready for the next event clear one more thing new trigger event equals false we're going to re reset this to false if we don't this code will loop over every single frame and we don't want it to we just want this code to happen when a uh, when this method's called or when this method's called so when we turn this to true okay this is the conf we've configured everything the last thing we need to do is add this um, add the selection to the currently selected units I'm going to test and see if this works though if there's any errors and hopefully unity won't crash or anything so if you use loads of for loops the chances are you'll crash unity sometimes okay so it's all working and that's good so we can add it to the currently selected units now and we did that using this method in uh, again a few videos ago put dragged units in currently selected units so we've done our 2d GUI tests that's all good but we also need to do the 3d drag drag mesh trigger tests and it's really simple to do guys we can say if drag mesh trigger 
if it's greater than zero there is some stuff we want to add then we can go ahead and add it and again it's another for loop so let's copy and paste the loop drag I'm going to copy and paste drag and paste trigger selected units dot count plus plus okay that's cool get the unit object again again I'm going to copy and paste that because it's quicker and then we can say well if the unit is not already in the currently selected units and we have a method for that so if unit is not already in the currently selected units unit object we can firstly add it so currently selected units add unit object and if you guys remember we've attached the unit script to the unit and we need to change its selected class variable to true so copying and pasting this one again and I think that's all we need to do and everything should be working now there's a few optimizations I noticed when playing around with it but uh, that's for the next video let's see if the selection works now going over to my solar farm it's gonna trigger my if I open up the solar farm my drag mesh object is going to trigger my invisible select mesh which is there and then it should highlight the unit there we go so it can the trigger events recognize when the unit is in the mesh and not and once we've let go we've committed to it we've selected the unit and we can click away and then it'll deselect okay so that's the video guys um, we've got our selection mostly sorted out now in the next video I'll see if we can optimize anything oh before I continue there's one more thing to do and uh, I think it's quite important. I'm going to open our drag mesh methods and where we create the box mesh. Let's just go down, create drag box mesh. I'm going to comment out this renderer so we can't see the mesh in the game because it's meant to be invisible. But now we know it's working and everything's cool, we can we can make it invisible to the user. So we'll never see it no matter what. Okay, everything's still working and that's cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video, hopefully I'll see you in the next video, thanks a lot.